So check out this mushroom here. This is called the Blue Knight. It's uh, it's really smooth on the bottom. It's kind of a blue gray. This one's doesn't look bad, but we tasted these last year. Pretty damn good. They're really meaty and dense. I think I make good good dish. So we're taking them. On the mountain with Bob. It's early in the fall season. We're looking for white chanterelles, matsutake, cauliflower, and anything else that could be popping. It's going to be an awesome day. We might find some mushrooms. We might just have a good time in the woods, but let's get out and have an awesome hunt. Let's go. So check it out. We're up about 3,500 feet, and I found my first white chanterelle. It's a little shrimp. Check it out. Hide right under here. Yeah, that's going to be an awesome mushroom. Pretty cool. Check out this cluster over here. Look at this guy. Look at this. What a beautiful white chanterelle. Love it. We're in the shrooms. So where we're focusing right now is kind of areas like this where you see some moss, a lot of trees, a lot of shade. But what we're really focusing in on is areas that look like they're hiding some moisture. It's super dry up here, but we're able to find some pockets. We have some greenery in some of these drainages and trenches and things like that. And we found some white chanterelles. We found some fried chicken mushrooms, found some yellow chanterelles. And I found the start of a really nice little cauliflower that I left. In another week, it's gonna be awesome. But so far, I'm impressed with what I'm seeing. And you just gotta pick your spot. So when there's a lot, a lot of moisture, you gotta find those spots that are holding moisture. It feels kind of damp up here, but it's cool in the morning. Right now we're hunting an east facing slope that's gonna get less direct sunlight in the middle of the day. And uh, it's just enough to get these mushrooms fruiting um, in pretty decent qualities. I'm, I'm impressed, so I'm in my happy place. Bob says he found some chanterelles. What do you got, Bob? Here. Oh yeah. Nice. And then right there. Oh yeah. Sweet. There's a couple of nice clusters right there. Look at those puppies. Beautiful. Nice work, Bob. I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite mushrooms, not to eat. This guy here. These are called the scaly chanterelles. They have not really ridges like like a chanterelle, but these are the woolly chanterelles. You don't want to, you don't want to eat those because uh, they're what I call bed shitters. So some people eat them, but they're better products if you need help with that. So leave them alone. I found some nice white chanterelles. Look at these puppies right here. Let's get these guys out of here. Oh yeah. Nice. Take a look at what we've got here. Looking at the forest floor. Oh, there's another cluster over there. But take a look at what we got. I mean, there's a lot of greenery still on the floor here. Even though it's fairly dry, these, uh, these chanterelles are really dry. But they're gonna be fine. But we're in a good spot. So check out this area right here. It looks like there's a bunch of seedlings and new growth in here all along this little drainage here what that tells me is there's going to be some extra moisture hiding in this area so i'm going to go down and check it out because there's extra moisture might be enough just to pop out some chanterelles or matsutake or something we're high enough for matsutake as well could be some kings in here we'll see but this is too tempting to pass up so look at what this looks like this would be an area where there could be chanterelles hiding in here, could be matsutake, could 
could be anything hiding in this spot. So let's keep looking. What do we got here? Is it a Matsutake? Is it a Rusula? Oh, whoa. Yeah. Oof, that is a definite far gone plain brown Rusula. Not an eater. You guys see it? Check it out. Nice. White chanterelle right here. Hiding under the duft. Oh yeah. What a beauty. A little dry. We'll put him in a little butter bath and he's golden. Not a bad mushroom for such a dry day. A lot of bear grass, a lot of moss, grand furs. We're in the shrooms. So Bob and I moved up to a higher elevation. We're about 5,000 feet now. We're looking for some fall kings, some perchinis. And uh, we're you know, hunting around in a bunch of these huckleberry bushes. And you know what I always say, never pass up a free snack in the forest. Well, there's some really good wild huckleberries here. Check these out. These little guys here. That's what they look like. Never pass up a free snack. So good. Okay, so I'm out here in the forest. It's raining now. Check out this yellow chanterelle mother load I just found. Look at this. Look at them all hiding in here. Some in here, some in there. Over there, there's more over here. Dang, that's awesome. Let's pack them out. Got some more yellow chanterelles. Batch right here, and the batch right there. Right now, we're about 3,600 feet on the south side of Hood. And uh, things are popping. And these all came out before the rain, but this rain is gonna get things going. So another week, it's gonna be nuts up here. So far, it's been a pretty awesome day. It's raining right now, but all these mushrooms came out before the rain. So I'm walking over this little spot here. I turned to my left. There is a massive cluster of yellow chanterelles. Check these out. You see him over there? That thing is gonna be like a bouquet. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It doesn't get a whole lot better than that. That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. Check it out, here's a couple of little Baby kings, look at that. Mama and a baby, not bad. Look at this guy, sitting under this rock. Oh, missed him. Look at how funky he is, flat because of the rock here. Another cluster of blue chanterelles, yes. That's two for two. And it's roughly in the same spot, so I'll take it. So check out this beautiful blue chanterelle. This one's way more wavy than the last one, but you could see it's got little ridges and veins in there like a regular chanterelle. And this was kind of a bluish gray color. Yeah, that is awesome, awesome. So right now, we're walking kind of here's the slope going this way we're walking diagonal on the slope here just to minimize the amount of up and down but as we're scanning up and down the hill we're looking for any kind of i don't know kind of a crotch in the hill that might have a little dip and uh or a bunch of logs stacked up anything that's going to hold some moisture it's raining now but if there's mushrooms out now these all would have come out before the rain so been an awesome day so far. Let's let's see if we can find some more. 
right now I'm seeing a bunch of cedar trees. I don't like cedars and the mushrooms don't like them either. So we got to get past the cedars and get back into the firs and the, and the pines and we'll be back in the shroom. So let's keep going.